Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us at CBSSports.com as well as PBR.com. You can see behind us the celebration has begun in Oklahoma along with two-time PBR world champion Justin McBride. I am Craig Hummer. We are wrapping up our only outdoor event of the season here in Thackerville, Oklahoma. And, Mac, it was a weekend where once again J.B. Mooney proved he's in the running for a world championship. Yeah, and that's what he's got to do, and, and especially on a weekend, Craig, where where Silvano goes 0 for 2, those are opportunities that aren't going to come along. That just, Silvano, that just doesn't happen to him. It did this weekend. JB did exactly what he had to do. He won the event. You know, he couldn't do any more than what he was able to accomplish. We talked about it during the telecast, but it bears repeating. JB Mooney is showing such a new level of maturity, and we're finally seeing the benefits in his writing. Yeah, it's definitely showing up. And, you know, there's there's been in past years where, where we've seen him come in leading an event mm -hmm. and he goes straight for Bushwhacker or Asteroid. And, and not that he can't ride those bulls, but in those moments he doesn't have to. And I think now he's at a point, though, in his personal life, everything mm -hmm. is going really well for him. And that's that's bleeding over into the arena. And, and also, he's rode all of those great bulls. So <laughs> he, he, he doesn't feel like, I don't think he's got anything to prove to himself. He can go pick smart and try to win the events. Right. It was two weeks ago that we saw him best bushwhacker. The buck off streak that had made so much news for a number of years was over 95 and a quarter points in Tulsa. This weekend, as you just hinted at, he made the business decision. Let's talk about those two great bulls that we've seen week in and week out since we've come back from break. Asteroid and Bushwhacker, for the first time this year, Asteroid, a better score head-to-head. -head. Yeah, it's almost like Asteroid's getting a little tired of hearing all this Bushwhacker <laughs> talk. He said, hey, guys, I'm the reigning champ here, you know, and, and I thought he had an outstanding trip tonight, as good as I've ever seen him be, mm -hmm. and uh, he was rewarded for it. Bushwhacker, on the other hand, I thought he was great again tonight, too, and, and I got to talk a little bit with Kent Cox, the, his handler, and uh, that, that bull's first jump is so big and so long, it gets guys reared back. And, and Kent thought maybe the judges didn't get to see enough of him tonight to, to get that big score that we're so accustomed to seeing. Yeah, Kent very diplomatically said to you, I don't get paid to judge, I just haul the bull around. Well, let's talk about a couple other guys that showed they're either back or finding the form that we thought had been lost for a little bit. Both former world champions, Galerme Marchi and Renato Nunes. Yeah, both have had back-to-back -back big weeks mm -hmm. for each of them, big weekends. And uh, Renato, first off, uh, I think that, you know, he's not really doing a lot of things differently than, than what he's done his entire career. He's always been that guy that makes great big moves and stuff. But for me, what's, what's working for him now is he's not letting his head come mm -hmm. up. And when he does that, Man, the guy can ride. Before we go, let's talk about one of the crazier rides in the Built Ford Tough Championship round and one of the best celebrations after the score, Shane Proctor. Yeah, that ride had me pumped up, man. <laughs> I was wanting to holler and scream like the fans in the stands were. Uh, the, the bull had a real wild rare up during the middle of the ride, and it looked like the bull was going to come over. And, and a lot of times, that that rattle a lot of riders. Mm -hmm. When the bull got his feet back under him, Shane picked him up and just went to town on him, opened up with his outside leg, a really dominant, exciting ride. Well, there have been a lot of question marks concerning Shane Proctor's riding and his decision-making over the summer. He showed today, and more specifically this weekend, that he is definitely here to stay along with his brother-in-law. Well. Still going on behind us. It's time for us to join the celebration. We'll see you next weekend on the California coast in Oakland.